Hi everyone, this is Mrs. King. The purpose of today's video is to help you with Group It in Tinkercad. Grouping is actually one of my favorite things to do because you can do a lot with the different shapes. So for this one, we're just gonna see what happens when you group two different types of shapes. So notice on the left-hand side you have your box, but then you also have an orange cylinder. Okay, the one on the right is the same box, but this is a cylinder that has a hole. If you look over here, it's the gray striped. These are holes, which we're going to see what happens. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to select both of these shapes. This is how you group. So here's our box and our cylinder. In order for me to do this, I'm going to click my mouse and I'm just going to drag it over both of the shapes and I'm going to release. You're going to notice that some objects up here were are now available to you before they were grayed out. So this is the group button up here. If you want to also do it, the shortcut, it's control plus G. I'm just going to click group and you're going to see what happens. Okay, so we made the box and the cylinder. We grouped them. They were two shapes. Now they are one. So that is why they are now the same color. Let's look at this box here on the left, on the right, I'm sorry. So again, we're gonna group them. Notice this is where we clicked before, it is now grayed out. Once I group both of these shapes, we'll have access to this button. So I'm gonna click my mouse, I'm gonna drag a box over both of these shapes, the box and the hole with the cylinder, and I'm going to release. Here is my group button, now watch what happens. So because I grouped it with a whole cylinder, see how there's a hole now in that one box and there's not in the other? So that is the difference between these two. And that's all you, that's all you gotta do for this one. It's just showing you the difference. 